This might look like a painting of one of those beautiful scenes in the Utah Canyonlands, but what you're actually looking at is a real rock that comes right from that region in Utah. You've probably stumbled on a rock now and then with strange and beautiful patterns. Some even may look like an artist painted them. While painting rocks is rather trendy these days, the rock patterns like the ones you see here are all natural. So what are they and how do they get like that? Today we'll explore these interesting rock patterns and take a look at one particularly cool one, the picture rock. I'm here in southern Utah today. The region's well known for these rock formations called red beds. There's a massive amount of sedimentary rock layers here. Many of them have these deep red hues. The red hue is due to the presence of iron-rich minerals. Oxidized iron. If it looks rusty, well, it is. Hematite's a common iron mineral. It's a beautiful mineral that can be red, but it's also a silvery metallic, and yet you still know it's hematite because even when it is silvery, it leaves this deep red streak. Here's a piece of conglomerate now. Uh, this is common in Triassic Age rocks, like the Sheenarump member of the Chinle Formation. The Sheenarump conglomerate and sandstones represent a late Triassic world. This was a terrestrial or inland region of braided rivers. Here's a nice piece of gypsum. There's lots of this stuff eroding in the wash here. The Sheenarump is surrounded by soft clays of adjacent formations, like the Moenkopi below it. Moenkopi is known for containing a lot of gypsum, satin spar varieties, and alabaster, which is this really soft form of gypsum. You can see a lot of these rocks have the just reddish, orangish hues. You can just see the presence of iron here. So there's a ton of these beautiful pieces of sandstone here, and you can see that they're pretty colorful. But over here, I can see a dark spot on this sandstone, and that is basically like an iron nodule in there, an iron concretion that's just in this sandstone. All right, so based on what I'm seeing, definitely in the right spot, near the right formations to find what I'm looking for. Here's some of that conglomerate that uh, came out of that Sheena Rump formation. But yeah, this is gonna be a good spot to look for picture rocks today. So let's see what we find. Well, in this piece, we can see this interplay of all these beautiful colors. So there's like an orangish reddish here from the iron, and then there's this black, these black coatings on the surface and um, even yellows and whites, and it's even kind of sparkling from the sandstone in the background. So most of the colors and patterns in these types of sandstones come from the iron and magnesium content, as well as manganese surface coatings. All right, so I think I see a nice piece over here. That's pretty cool. So yeah, this is basically what a picture rock is. There's a lot of different patterns to be found, but they essentially have these different minerals throughout and, and a lot on the surface as well. And it makes these cool patterns. And what's really neat about these is the fact that they end up looking like scenes. So if you find the right piece and you look at it from the right angle, you'll literally see some sort of like landscape scene. Here's another piece right here. Uh, again, that's kind of a different pattern than the last one, but still very cool. Well, it's a beautiful day out today, and of course, it's got the rock hound along. All right, and here, you have some tracks. What do you think, little buddy, huh? Here's a great piece. You can actually see the conglomerate there on the bottom and some nice sandstone at the top. You can see the contact between the two, so beautiful piece. Well, score, here's another picture rock. This one's pretty cool. I like that pattern. Oh, here we go. This is a nice slab. So this is really a nice one to look for because it's a larger piece here and you can really see those patterns almost like striped and uh, again with the swirls, um, but this is a nice piece of a picture rock. I really like this find today. And here's a another view of an, a piece nearby, a close-up of the surface. Lots of good ones around here now that I'm seeing. So there's lots of other things that can coat the surface of rocks and give them colors and patterns. I only covered on a few today. I'll talk more about those here at Let's Go Geo. 
um, that you know everything from carbonates and sulfates and salts and uh, silicates that will give it kind of a whitish crusty hue um, to metals which we've seen a little bit with manganese with those dendrites and um, and iron of course um, here's another look at the piece that I found today and here's an example of some of the cool artistic things that can be done with picture rocks I'll see you on the next adventure